Hi, welcome to T-Bad's Trucks and Stuff. I got enough parts here to start putting my truck together. I got everything except for the hood and the tailgate. They're in pretty rough shape, so they're gonna take a little bit longer. But I'm gonna start with the doors, putting the hinges together, put the latch in there, and then we'll start fitting them up here and started lining up some body lines, get the box on there, start building the truck. Got new hinge bushings and pins here. I just installed them on this jack stand with a piece of wood and my little body hammer here. Got them all together. There's not much of an old mark on here, but they are like slightly dented around some of the edges. So I got a little bit of an idea of where they go. So I'm gonna start with that on there. And next is to get this latch back in there so it'll hold one side of the door up for me. Now I gotta just figure out, whoa, how to get this in here and lined up without scratching stuff. This. Yeah, hopefully this is the right one. <laughs> Come on, nice and careful here. It sounds awful, it sounds like I'm hitting everything. your home and you come on you're real close why don't you want to go to there we go careful jeez clunking all over I stuck a paint stick in here because that's where I got a paint chip on the other side last time when I did this. So if we can avoid chipping, that is much nicer. Okay, one started. The paint stick is pretty much holding the gap there. I'm just gonna lift it up while I tighten this one. And then hopefully that'll hold the pressure off the latch when I release it. We'll snug them up. Man, the mosquitoes out here are just crazy right now. Let's open her up, see what it looks like here. Oh no. Might be just a touch low. Yep, just a touch low. So I only got the center one on each side tight. So I'm just gonna loosen the top one just a touch. 
Come on, lift till I see it move there. Snug her back up. Let's check it again. Loosen them up. Got the tape off. And the gap there is a little bit big, I think. A little more. The top and the bottom are the smallest. Go a little more. Okay, let's try it. Try that. So, same thing. Snug up the middle. This one, let's just lift and tighten. I dropped the whole back load. Not good on that one. Little high. Let's try that. That looks better. Snug him up again. Door gap number two. This one was a little bit tighter. It's tight in the middle, bigger on the ends, tight on that corner, and tight on this corner. I might even bend that out a little bit by hand. Let's get this thing out of the way, and we'll get some fenders on here. And it'll kind of start holding the
front ride support here where it belongs instead of just dangling out wherever it wants to right now. I just noticed my little shims have two different sizes. I used to always think they were always the same. Yes, we're going with the aftermarket fender first here. As I clunk it into place. That guy's in the way. Maybe just go near where you actually live. We're touching down there. Out to lunch over there. <laughs> Okay, tell me when it's straight. Is that good? It's close. It's aligned pretty good for an aftermarket panel. You can see a little right there and the bending is different. Currently, it's a little farther out than I would want, but there is that bolt back there, so that'll be for further adjustment after. I put the same shims as the other side. The other side might have to go higher though. We'll see. This one's pretty close, just setting her up there. It was close till I put those front ones in. Somewhere over there is where it needs to go. That Ford fender, it fit on there like it's been there its whole life. Same with that door, which are both from different vehicles. And I replaced the rocker and the cab corner, so the lines are adjusted by me a little bit too. Looking good. Now for this thing. How am I going to get that on there? Plus three inches higher on blocks by myself. <laughs>
Well, that was about as fun as it looked, but I got it on and it's not hitting. So now, body lift blocks. <sighs> Good old foot jack. We'll have to get that a little straighter once I look around. Gotta pull this side in a little. But you don't want to go shoving underneath because you may move it the wrong way and ram it into the back of the cab. Must be close now. Just gotta get this piece of wood out of here. Whew, foot jack's a little wobbly with that much. Wow, looks like a truck again. It must have looked something like this when it was new. This color is, I think, you can see the offset to the wall, so it's a little bit more of an off-white than it originally was. But it's pretty close. Now to fix that up and down in the body line. But wow, look at that. Got a truck. Body lines are a little bit nicer on this side. Still a little bit high. All needs an adjustment. But look how nice that truck is looking. I'll have to find a old picture of what it looked like before I started all this. Just put in these little guide bolts on each side. And I wanted to put this on next. But look at it. It doesn't line up. They're not even quite in the same spot. I'm going to have to do some re-drilling there. I want to see what it looks like, so I'm still going to hang it up here. But yeah, we won't be able to fully install it. Just be careful not to scratch everything as I clunk it around. Well, this is the last painted piece I got. I guess they got the fuel doors, but this is the last piece I got that really shows how it looks since I don't have a hood. But wow, all that work. We got a nice looking truck here. Let's get this up and see what it looks like. Well, here it is. I've owned this truck for 13 or 14 years. It's never looked like this. It's had holes in the floor and the cab corners rotted out the whole time. It's got little, little things to line up still. I gotta go prepare some more parts. But she's coming together. Paint job turned out very good. All the cab corners, rockers, door replacements, fender replacements, box replacement. The only thing original here is the cab and the frame. But check back in next time and See how this goes.
I'm gonna keep on working on her. Get a little more together and slowly by slowly I'll have her bit by bit. Get her finished up. I still have these parts all over my back deck here. I got the axle, it's over here in the weeds. It's gotta get prepared still. Gotta fix this dirty old hood. And this is probably just as bad as the hood is under all the Bondo. But, yep, we got lots to go. Got the 88 F-150 looking all good and brand new again. 